Hi everybody. Obviously we are not at home today. We are fishing the beautiful St. Mary's River. It is a wonderful fishery and there's a variety of fish to fish and this is our favorite spot to fall fish. We're hanging out with some friends this week and the guys caught a northern pike. We are going to fillet this out. I'm going to show you how to fillet it and bone it so that you don't have to pickle it to get the bones out. A lot of people don't like doing um, northern pike because they feel like their only option is to pickle it because of those Y bones, but there's an easy way to do it and I'm gonna show you how. So he sat on ice all night and then I washed him with a vinegar and water solution. So these are a little less slimy than normal, but I am wearing gloves because Northern Pike are just known to be kind of slimy. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna fillet him out like we do a normal fish and get two fillets. Okay, so first things first, and I'm still trying to find the very best fillet knife. This one is a Knives of Alaska. It's better than some. And the problem with Northern Pike is that they don't have a backbone right on the back. So you gotta kinda just flay them out and kinda guess where their back is in the middle. And deal with the slime. You're gonna fillet these guys out the same way you do any other type of of fish for starters you can get right to about that tail fin and go all the way through and go all the way down open that up and you got these start working your way down these ribs And you're gonna hear those Y bones clicking. And this guy's slippery. <laughs> this table's not very big, big enough for him either. We just gotta cut through those Y bones for starters. And then when we get to the fillet, we'll be able to cut those out. Leave all the guts in there. Definitely need to be finding a better knife. All right. So now we've got our fillet. And you can see there's a little bit of rib meat in there. We're just going to cut that out. Cut that rib meat like that. Get rid of that. Now we've got our filet. Now when you've got a northern pike, you're gonna have Y bones in here and you can see some of them sticking up right here. There's a line of them right here and there's another line of them right over here. And you're gonna just run your hand along the pike and you're gonna feel those bones. And then when you feel the bones have ended, right about here, you can cut that off right there. And we're gonna just skin that piece off right off the tail. That piece right there is boneless. I'm gonna set that aside. And now we're gonna skin out our other section here. My fillet would be a little cleaner if my knife was a little better. All right, got it. All right, so take our skin off, get rid of that. Piece right there, I'll get that off in a minute. Clean our table. All right, we're gonna clean that piece off right there and just make that, there's no bones in that piece right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this pike, this is about 12 to 14 inches. We're gonna cut this in about four or five pieces before we bone it. We're gonna make these pieces easier to bone out. He's a little big, so probably go five. gonna take you a few fish to practice this method and get it right by the time I did maybe 10 of them or so I got it so you're gonna run on you're gonna want to know which side is your belly side and which side is your back side 
Now the fatter side is gonna be your back side. And then the this is the belly side. So what we're gonna do, start start with a nice piece here. Don't start with a tail piece because it's gonna be a little harder. When you've got your bones here, the bones are gonna be in a Y along here. This is the bottom of the Y and then it's gonna split up right here. So once you know where they lie, you're gonna be able to get this much better. Now, when it gets to this part and I got a smaller piece, I'm gonna use my little four inch knife. Now I can feel my Y bones right here and the ones right here. So this little tenderloin piece right here, you're gonna find, you're gonna just kind of go back towards the, back towards the, bo the Y bones there. And when you start feeling them, and you can see my angle right there where I've got, when you feel the bones, you're gonna twist back the other way and just scrape that tenderloin right off of that Y bone right there. This little piece right here, completely boneless and a nice good chunk of pike meat. Pike meat is absolutely delicious. It's just as good as walleye. It's just those bones are a problem. Now, you can see what we've got left. We've got a really thin piece of belly or a back meat right here where those Y bones are coming in and you can see the Y bones right here. And you can see that we got the other set of bones right here. So what we're gonna do is find this other set of bones right here and just go along these bones, follow them down. And when you get part way down, you're gonna feel them and you're gonna just curve your blade this way and cut those bones off of this piece of meat. Now this piece of meat here, completely boneless. There's no bones left in here. Your Y bones are right here. And it looks like a Y. You got bones right here, here, and here. And that's what we scraped off. So get rid of that. This piece now completely boneless. Do this other piece. And like I said, start with the big fat pieces because they're going to be easier to do. When you get down to these tail pieces, they're going to be a little harder. So find your bones, the ones that stick up the most. You can use your knife. You can hear them clicking. You're going to cut towards them. And immediately when you start feeling them, start cutting back towards the the back. This piece, nice and boneless. Nice little tenderloin. Now we've got these bones sticking up right here. And you can run your finger along and try to figure out where those other bones are at. So we're going to... It's easier when your hands aren't cold. So then we're just going to cut this whole Y bone section right off. And this piece right here, your left completely boneless. You see when these bones are sitting in here, when these bones are sitting in here, there's a bone here, here, and they go down this way. And that's this that we're taking out. So this little section right here is your tenderloin. And then everything from here back is this meat here. So you can see what we took off. And that's Y bones. Let's try one more. towards the Y bones. And some of these, that one's actually getting a little bit fat for my little tiny knife, so I'm gonna go with my bigger one. Once you feel those Y bones, start turning it towards, back towards the back. Peel that off. Nice boneless little tenderloin. These little pieces are so much easier to do. Don't try to do this with an entire filet of pike. You're never gonna be able to get that turn that you need to get to rid get rid of these. You gotta use these smaller pieces. I've tried other methods of pike and I just can't do it. It's, it's too hard. This is the best method that I've found. So now we're gonna come in behind those other Y bones, on the backside. Get underneath there when you start feeling the bones, start, just go right underneath them, you'll feel them. Oh, see I got a little bit too close on that one. And then peel them right off and try and get that meat underneath there that you can save. That's your why. Get rid of that. Just double check that you don't have a, a bone that you missed. Nice boneless piece. 
you're gonna do with both sides. It's a little harder when you get towards the tail because they're not as prominent. So you just gotta kinda, kinda go by feel and go slow, there's no rush. Because you can hear that knife scraping across these bones. Just double check. Even with gloves on, you can tell whether or not there's bones in there. And you can see these bones all right up in here. And we just scraped right along there and pulled that tenderloin right off. Now, a lot of times you're going to have this little, this little um, divot right here in the meat. That's going to be kind of where you're going to be at with getting that other piece off. If you want to be sure to get rid of all of it, you can put your knife right down in that divot there and go right back towards the bone. That one got a little soft. Some people don't like this red meat. They said it's very strong tasting, so you can get rid of that as well. And then this piece right here, no bones. So pike doesn't have to be scary. Michigan fishing, one of the best fisheries in the country. We've got all of these beautiful lakes, lots of freshwater fish, and don't be afraid to keep those pike. They're absolutely delicious. They're not scary, it takes a little bit of practice. You might have a couple bones in the first few that you do, but don't be afraid to just keep trying. It took me about 10 fish to get this perfected, but if you try this method, I, I promise you, you're gonna like to eat pike and not be afraid to keep them. So thanks for joining us this week, and we will see you next time.